Hello everyone, my name is Ivokun Williams and the show is Get Movie Scoop. Today we have some good behind the scenes action from a Yoruba language movie. Also, we have a touching story about a little girl, child soldier from the Democratic Republic of Congo in the African cinema segment. Also, a selection of Nollywood movies in our Nollywood Picks of the Week segment. And in our News and Tidbit segment, you'll learn what's been going on in the Nollywood industry over the last week. First, let's check out today's movie spotlight in our behind the scenes segment. So stay with us. Mommy, how can you say this? Ah, knowing well that David and I love ourselves so much. Shadi, now I know that you're a very selfish child. At this age, when you condition Babe, how do you want him to take care of your siblings? But we know she's lost his school. How do they continue? My name is Joseph Jayoba. I am the producer of the movie The Seed. Um, I'm also the writer of The Seed, and um, I actually played a lot of role in putting this film together as a producer. It's my story. Um, I wrote it. It was just my vision to bring to the world. My name is Kavira Kafidikwe. I play the role of Shade in Irigwe, The Seed. Yeah, my name is Sahid Balogun. I'm a director, actor in this movie, The Seed. And it's very, very convenient for me to be a director and an actor. There's a lot of stories you can write and tell, but I needed to tell the story because I needed to prove myself as a filmmaker in Nigeria. And um, I wrote a simple story, but yet a little bit complex. Like, it's full of suspense, and um, it's just... Um, I just had to tell it the way I wanted to tell it. You have brought shame to this family. If one more will look at ya, if you will look at the Bawabo, you don't shall see much in the grab as a cat in the world. Eh? Oh, do we love me? You're fed, Mafi Bubabai. A pretty shame, you were for me. Mama Shadi, you and your daughter wants to destroy me. Ah. Tell mommy, I'm a condition to move. A defender minister to me, Fenger. She bet you back on Fenfer Shadi. A woe or any. Me, Mabu, got to sell him for you. Oh, that is off for Molo to walk, 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 <coughs> My friend, Mama Shade, I will learn Shade, Shade. Shade is a young girl trying to get admission into the university. While she was in the, the secondary school, the high school, she had a friend, um, David. I love her, so to speak. And um, yeah, they were going on and everything was fine until um, our father took ill and they needed some money to take care of him. So she had to, she had to sacrifice a love for her family. So she was forcefully <laughs> willed to, yes, she was forcefully wheeled over to our father's best friend, Chief um, Adeleke. And um, Chief Adeleke took care of her, actually. She, she married Chief Adeleke reluctantly because she, of course, um, was very, very deeply in love with David. But you know, that kind of um, secondary school things when even your mom she don't really know what's up, what's up like that. She is Mrs. Adeleke. And the war began because um, along the line, Chief Adeleke died and the old story began. The inheritance. They wanted Shade, that's my character, to marry Banji. 
in Yoruba one <laughs> Oshuloko. Of her shoe, they wanted to give Shade away. I mean, they wanted Banji to marry Shade so Shade won't leave the family and then they're not gonna feel like being cheated because Shade was the only one Chief Adeliki wield uh, the property for. Hello? Uh, I don't think I'll be coming home tonight. I have one or two things to sort out here, so I'll come home tomorrow morning. All right, bye. Tomorrow morning, how? Oh, listen, I think you and my son will be lonely. You know, I should be here to make you happy and comfortable. Lonely? Yes. Bitsy Ah. Ah. We are not lonely, oh. Uncle, please, I think you, you need to, to start going now. You're making me uncomfortable. Listen, my torch alone will bring down the company. Excuse me, Emma to Shebe, Emma Jare. Please leave. 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 Yes, it was different. It's a, it seems like a very simple storyline, but with a different touch. So it was it was captivating, and um, and I didn't I didn't mind doing it. It was different. It was almost different from what I've done so far. I actually played a wife to Jideko Soko, if you know what that means. It wasn't much of a scene, like we didn't have too many scenes together, but at least that was the character I played as Mrs. Adelike. And I did it, and my director was happy, and what more can I say? Good afternoon, David. Hey, how are you? I'm good. Uh, meet my friend I told you about, her name is Shadi. Good afternoon, how are you doing today? I'm very well, thank you. Yes, I'm sure it's... Thank you. Okay, David, David is a good lawyer. He hardly does he lose any case. David initially didn't believe Shadi's story because they were shocked. They didn't make it known to the friend that they were, they were lovers or whether they ever met before. But along the line, they met somewhere private and um, David was so angry, but she was able to express herself and told David how everything went, how the mother persuaded her and so on. And, um, yeah, of course, because for the love, for, uh, let me just say, for all time's sake, David had no choice. Okay. Same here. Okay, good night. What? Same here. Oh. Those of people who love me, you will not deserve to be seen here, right in my presence. Eh? My husband to be, David Bello. I can't believe this. But I'm leaving your house tonight. And let me my feet by the potential. So that you and Shadow will enjoy yourself, okay? I'm talking to you and you're walking out on me. Hello, you're walking out on me, David! Oh no! Ah no, no, I'm going to leave this house tonight. My <laughs> play Ilela lay in you. Oh no, I can't believe this. Well, actually, this will not be my first time of working with Sai Balogun. I actually worked with Sai Balogun like a couple of years back. He came to Chicago to um, shoot a movie, and that was the first time I met him. And um, ever since then, he's been like a mentor to me. So I knew um, Said was going to be directing this film, and I knew he's going to be playing one of the characters. I actually wrote the character of Banji for Sai Balogun. So, um, of course, yeah, when you have to stop on people on set, of course, there are always going to be issues, and that's like just a, that's just life in general. It's not, you can't go through life without getting in like conflict with people. It's how you recover from it, you know. So, I mean, every day, multiple times a day on set, on location, we actually fight, yell at each other, and everybody will just be looking at us like, wow, you know. But at the end of it all, we still like act like a black like brothers. Like I apologize to him because he's older than me. Not necessarily because I'm wrong, 
Well, just because I have to apologize, so that's just life in general. But it was fun working with Saeed Balu. You can see the synchronization there. A producer who's on the same page with the director will make things easy. If A wants to lose it, B is there to correct. I am this kind of director I'm ready to listen to good suggestions. He's, he's not the only writer. He wrote the script with himself and all well at the Mola assisted him. So, I lo you see, when they're writing, they have this kind of picture as a director and they have another kind of picture. So we meet in the middle of the time and say, oh, okay, okay, let's meet here. I love it. I love when my producers have a very, very good vision and they are passionate about their job. It makes the work easy. If I can say my producer, I need a... Can we get a um, helicopter here? If it's a very good producer, I will say, no, 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 we need a plane. You can see. But if I tell one producer, please, I need a helicopter, I say, ah, bros, what kind of do It's taking you back. But if you're working with a producer that has a very good vision, passionate about his job, you get there. So two of us working together as a team, you can't have it so good. In a way, it was a little bit challenging because I knew this was different from what I've done in the past. I have produced um, two Yoruba films in the past, Onwaye and Igbagbe, and those were like the typical Yoruba films. You do it the way you do the Yoruba films, not that I'm trying to bring um, anything um, industry down. But this was a little different, and I knew that. So I needed to do my own work. Um, I need to give it like more than my 100%. So, you know, I need to make sure I have the right location for the right scene, um, the right um, actor for, the, for a particular um, cast. So everything was done in a, in a disciplined version uh, because I wrote the script at least a year, one year before shooting it. It took me one year to put it together before we went to location because I wanted to do it right. If you have enough time with your script, I mean, you should have vet everything and think, can I flow with this? If it's convenient for you and comfortable, you have your team, don't, don't forget that. You have a lot of people around you working. And if you are a good production man, you have your script beforehand, you should be able to think ahead and say, okay, at this time, this is what I'm going to do. At this time, this is what I'm going to do. If you plan ahead, you win ahead. That's it. It is. There and then on said it was convenient and comfortable to direct and act at the same time. Because I had my script long time and I had enough time to plan. That's it. What is wrong with the wheel? Damn you. <laughs> Mama, there's something wrong with this wheel. Chief will not do this to me. Chief didn't ride this wheel. It is wrong. What is all in Matter to someone. Ah, when did you get to this house? To the field where mommy ma kuhubu property akuliela ya. I'm sure you were still in your mother's womb when my son and his first wife put all of this together. Unfortunately, she died without a child. It's only a mere mommy she will be kuhu fe. A younger wife, Tule Bimofu, and that was how you got into this house. It's new, it's fresh, and you are in control. Send a tweet with your top three music video selections. Select, tweet, and watch your favorite music videos on my Twitter playlist. The all new music video show that plays what you want to watch based on what you tweet. Get your top videos each week on my Twitter playlist on Get TV Channel 129. You know, in every production, you always have one challenge or the other, especially technically. Okay, no matter how prepared you are, something will just pop up. It could be the general gen said, it could be that one light or a bulb would just pop up and, and then you know you have to wait. It could mean that um, you have to shoot it, I mean shoot that particular scene another day because also even the weather might not permit you to do because we, we, we work with nature. So of course there were challenges. Part of the challenges I encountered as a director and actor on set, at times 
on set me as the director. I lose it. I'm on set acting like an actor. And at the same time, I want to direct myself. And I look at people, they're going, whoa, 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 don't go there. You're an actor now. So I have to say, cut! Give me five minutes. I want to take myself back to the shoe of an actor. And my assistant directors, and I have a lot of beautiful answers on set, like Orwell, the, the producer himself, very, very stubborn. He has his dream, he has his mission, he has his vision. If he wants to get there, you can't distract him. He will tell you, my director, sir, you know, interpreting when I said, okay, my producer, sir, I will do it the way you want it. So the challenge is there is, it's not easy. And at times, working with a producer who knows what he wants, you can't change things all of a sudden. Director has the picture. That you can have a good picture when you have a fantastic producer. So you can, if you're on the same page, getting locations, calling people, call time, everything, getting the right legal terms to use in court is not easy. We have to get some lawyers and they tell you, oh, this is 1960 law, oh, this is 1955. That was a day we waited for, we were there for like five days. We had to go back to court. We shot a scene, but we didn't match it. Because the, 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 what we were thought by one guy there, I don't want to mention his name, wasn't right. So we have to do it again. Those are part of the challenges we faced in the movie. But thank God today, we plant the right seed for the whole world to see. Um, you asking me one or two questions, you're ripping part of the seed. Are you smiling? Let's keep it up. Down. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, madam, as I can see, this is your car, right? Now you deserve a better car. I am going to give you 10 million naira on behalf of myself and my family. Your consultation fee. And we can even take a step forward by giving you a brand new car. Ma, here is my business card in case you change your mind. 10 million naira. Thank you very much. The character of Shade was very... I can say encouraging because um, the director, Said Balogun, I think understood that story so well and um, he helped. Of course, that's his job and it was very super. It was my first time working with him and I think I, I enjoyed him. He really helped and I, I noted that at, at every point where anybody did that job very well. Maybe when the director is impressed, you get you get an applaud. And uh, yeah, I even got 500 naira in a particular scene because <laughs> it was it was he said it was impressed. I said, "Oh, camera, are you serious?" And then they give me 500 naira. <laughs> no, I mean we we're just having fun. I enjoyed myself, and um, for me, I once I digest my script. I'm just, I'm just good to go. I, I don't see it as though I was reading a, um, a script, or I, I don't want to see it like the acting thing anymore. I put myself in the character, and once the camera is rolling, I just put it out as though it's real. I love the role, and if you know very well, I've acted in a lot of films over decades so it is it was on set very easy for me to play along with that role and i love the role so much uh, in the in the movie i played the bad boy with bad attitude you can see so and we have this other guy it's a message to the old world when you do the right thing at the right time you will get there no matter how long it takes no matter when you have this kind of level of destruction right left it's happening in my country now. You see people going right, left. You don't know where we're going. But we'll get there very soon because people's voice are heard all over the world and they can see us. So in the movie, I acted that role as a bad boy, but the good guy won at last. Banji in the seat was a bad boy. He lost to the good guy. So if you want to win all the time, watch the seat. Be the good guy and you will always win. If you be Banji the bad boy, you always go the bad way. That's it. Uncle, the boy is still with him. And what is the boy still doing with him? You need to act fast to fight for the custody of the boy. Yes. It will take time. It's a process. It is always a process with you. Young man, please watch your mouth. What will you do if I don't use this whole cargo? Banji. 
I cannot sit here and watch you insult me. Hmm? Insult you? You have insulted yourself by allowing that girl to walk away with everything. Don't you know that? No. It is your stubbornness that got you here. Listen! You better fight for the custody of that boy. And I am telling you now to do it fast. If I go down, you are coming with me. What are you talking about? What are you trying to insinuate? Oh, I sent those boys to attack Shadi. What? Yes. My boys shot her. You did what? Banji, but I warned you. Well, wait till I tell the whole world that you changed the will. I did that under your instruction, Banji. Okay. You go and tell the whole world what you just said. Now! If I go down, you are coming with me. You go alone. Oh. You go alone. We shall see. I am a respected lawyer. That's what you think. I know how to fight it out. Keep fighting. Okay. I'm done for. First of all, I wanted to make a statement in the Nigerian film industry. I wanted to be visible to let people know, hey, I'm here. And second of all, like, um, I feel like the story is what is happening in our society today. Um, corruption, you know, when something belongs to you, was real to you, and some other people feel like they have the right to take it away from you. So just like it's the fighting over property will, you know, and sometimes, you know, in life, things that belongs to us are taken away from us and we just don't feel right about it. And I just, it's just like you have to put up a fight sometimes to claim what belongs to you. So I just wanted to like, you know, talk about exciting things that are still going on in our society today. It's a lot of, like, it's something a lot of people can actually relate to in the, in, in, in the, in, in the Nigerian society, so that's one of the reasons I wrote the story. And then also, just, you know, certain decision we make in life can come back in 10 years, 11 years, 15 years to bite us. So, um, just to create that awareness that whatever, this, uh, whatever situation you're making today, just be conscious and try to follow the right path. As much as it's like, it can sound cliche, you know. Yeah. Objection, my lord! That has nothing to do with this! This case. Barrister Bello. Approach the bench. From this story, I really want people to take a lot away from it. But most, most importantly, like I think people think in the in in a society in Nigeria, we still don't have good people, and that's what I was trying to tell. Like there's still good people in this world, and um, just making the right decisions, you know, and just be conscious and be mindful of the decision you make. You know, don't make big, uh, don't make decision because of money. Don't make decision because you're forced into it. You know, just think through the decision we make today. Think through the decision you're gonna make. Because, you know, what they say is whatever goes around comes around. So I want you to just watch this film and learn about life and just making decisions. Now, after carefully reviewing the evidence and the arguments that were brought to me before this court, I strongly do believe that Shade married Chief Adeleke because of his money. And I also do believe that she had an affair with David. But I do not believe that she killed her husband. Even the autopsy says so. And you have not given me enough evidence to prove otherwise. The autopsy also says that he died of natural cause. She has to continue her life, but she has a son for Mr. Adeleke, who is the priority of this courtroom, above any other family member. Look, as much as the brother may interfere, he still has a son. Um, moral, um, you, what I think I got from the story is that, uh, 
parents should not try to force their children to be in any relationship because sometimes or most times it's not all about the money it's not all about the desire that they they have in the other party but it should be more of what the child wants because happiness eventually is what will make them happy yeah because what they see this minute that seems like oh um that seems like the best for the child might end up being the sorrow for the whole family yeah it's a fantastic movie the seed people should watch it and learn whatever what do you call it hard time or anything you will definitely get there stay on the truth stay on the truth don't let anybody distract you you will get there people are used to say ah don't say anything no they will kill you if it's the truth say it be it your friend don't say because somebody is my friend i don't want to say the truth no you may please one person to displease 200 people. And you may displease one person to please 200 people. That's what the seed is all about. So if you want to get there, the good place, watch the seed. A law degree holder from Harvard University. Master of law from there. Hmm, very impressive. No wonder you've not lost any case for five years now. Baba. 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 Stop crying, Mama. I will get everything back. What did he just say? I will marry Shade with her pregnancy. Really? How far can you stay when the light is gone on? What was Chief's plan for his son? My lord, Chief had not started making plans for his son. You know, have you forgotten? Before Nikke died. So, and you have not given me enough evidence to prove otherwise. And I would say that I have further evidence to prove what I'm saying. That's the devil. Are you okay? Your husband is dead and my husband is dead. Mommy, your husband, my father. I just feel like I'm going too far with this case. No, you're not, David. You're only fighting for an helpless woman. Mama, Mama, it's I cannot do the same thing a second time. Oh, Allah only Jackie be costly to come and let me, Jamie. Come now. After carefully reviewing the evidence and the arguments that were brought to me before this court, here is my judgment. War Witch is an African civil story told around a little girl. After her village is burned down by rebels and her parents are killed, Komona, played by 14-year-old non-professional actress Rachel Mwanza, is forced into the jungle as a child soldier. Her brutal commander not only trains her in the use of arms, but also orders her to sleep with him. Oh, yo, nde papa, nde mama. Nde papa, nde mama. Musara na yo, yangwan. Asimba ga arme boy. Eh? Searching for shelter amidst the horror, 
She turns to a slightly older albino boy with white hair, who she calls magician, and falls in love with him. After they escape from the camp together, Komona does her utmost to return to her village. She wants to bury her parents to prevent them having to eternally wander the wasted land as ghosts. Although inspired by a real story that took place in Burma, Nguyen, the director, decided to film War Witch in the Democratic Republic of the Congo without giving a specific location to the plot. War Witch was filmed mainly with non-professional actors and it visualizes the horrors of civil war and the suffering of children and civilians. Told throughout from the perspective of an adolescent girl, the film shot in authentic locations in Congo and cast with most non-professional actors. The director worked on the film for 10 years, watching and catching children's point of view with his camera and mixing in tightly edited flashbacks in which the spirits of human beings appear with an ultra-realistic and violent storyline. But War Witch is also a poignant, impossible love story filled with magic, picturesque images and even light moments like the powerful visit to an albino camp or the chasing of a white rooster. Despite all the horrors she encounters, Komona proves to be a beacon of hope for a continent yearning for peace and humanity. Rachel Nwanza, Alan Bastian, Serge Kayinda, Mizinga Mingwa, Ralph Prosper, Jean Kabuya, are some of the cast in Warwick and is written and directed by Kim Nguyen. One day, I know you will. So I have to tell you how I became a soldier with the rebels. Listen good when I talk to you, because it's very important that you know what I did before you come out of my belly. Because when you come out, I don't know if God will give me the strength to love you. Tika Malam. Blitz Patrol chronicles the adventures of Romy Augustine, played by Joey Razdian, and his partner Ace Dikolobe, played by David Cow. The two are police officers who have had the misfortune of being stationed in a little-known depot in the belly of Johannesburg. Romy is bogged down with trying to start a family and an overbearing mother-in-law who won't just move out. The overzealous Ace, on the other hand, can think of nothing better to do in the morning than to put his lucky bulletproof vest and head out to kick some bad guy's ass. 18 months and you haven't shot anything yet. Are you guys in position? Almost. What the fuck is going down the ball You take the shot, I don't take the shot. I call the shot. You couldn't call the shot. Whilst in a pure white neighborhood, trying to solve yet another small time crime, Romy and Ace, along with their inept sniper colleagues, accidentally stumble upon a massive drug haul. What ensues is a series of mishaps as the duo encounters some of the city's craftiest crooks in a race against time to catch the bad guys and claim their place in the crime-fighting glory. We have a dish coming need this place, thanks. This is bullshit. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm not joking. This is awkward. You feeling awkward? You guys feeling awkward? Blaze Patrolli is in many ways South African cinema paying homage to movies such as Bad Boys, Rush R, Starsky and Hutch, and other iconic body cop movies. The movie is written by Kagis Lediga and is directed by Andrew Wessels. To do nothing. We went against pride because of you insisting on being fucking Jack Norris all the time. You guys. 18 months and you haven't shot anything yet. Take the shot, you bloody Just give me a minute. Why don't you take the shot, did I, Dick? I don't take the shot, I call the shot. Yeah, I keep telling them that they're fat and useless. Oh, oh. shut up, Letwaba. <laughs> <laughs> you are not detectives. The clowns say they found the drug hole. 
the biggest drug bust since 2005. You have the right to remain silent. Where are the drugs? I don't know anything about any drugs. My gut feeling tells me the drugs are in that house. Wasn't that Ace's gut feeling? What does it matter whose gut feeling it is? The drug bust did happen and the word gets out that we lost our consignment. We are facing the biggest inquiry in history. ACF. This is ACF territory for German. Let's go. Get some real police work done here. Grab a desk, come and leave this space. Do you know who the bloody Naidu brothers are? The next O to tune me a cheesy Indian joke. I swear to God, I'm gonna kill him. Hey, Naidu, don't play with me. I'm not in the mood list. It was this. You can't have a gut feeling about other people's gut feeling. My gut feeling tells me I need to slant a cock. Cover me. Hey, hey, hey. Why you gonna cover you when you got my cock? I needed the money, okay? Don't outdo yourselves. I don't know what you want to do, Who's gone? In Grigri, despite a bad leg, 25-year-old Grigri has hopes of becoming a professional dancer, making some extra cash, putting his killer moves to good use on the dance floor of his local club every weekend. His dreams are tested when his stepfather falls critically ill and he's forced to risk his future by smuggling oil to pay the hospital bills. When he befriends Mimi, a beautiful but damaged prostitute, the two will try to start a new life together. Grigri <laughs> C'est génial. Merci. Tu m'appelleras On le promet. But as bad decisions begin to catch up with them, they'll have to run for their lives. Their past, however, are never far behind, bringing them to a perilous climax. Grigri is directed by Mahama Saleh Haron. S'il te plaît, Moussa, je vais du travail. Tu sais nager Oui. Si je te prends avec moi, c'est parce que je sais que t'es quelqu'un de bien. Où sont les bails hmm? Où sont les bails Si tu me bluffes, si tu me mens, t'as fait le décrasé qu'on croise ta peau, d'accord T'inquiète pas, ça va aller. There's something about War Witch that really got to me from the very first time I saw the trailer. I thought the images were very evocative and there was some strange empathy that I shared with the girl I saw in the trailer. Honestly, I knew I was going to enjoy the movie. And if you think any of these movies call out to you as well, you know you can just go out and look for those great African films and watch and even get the conversation going. In the meantime, here's our news and tidbits from around Nollywood. Enjoy. Nollywood news and tidbits. There are rumors that star actor Emeka Ike is currently facing hard times a few weeks after his school, St. Nicholas College, Lagos, was sealed. The school, which Ike reportedly invested about 200 million naira in, was sealed on the 24th of January 2014 after a protracted legal battle. Ike and his wife have been running the school since 2005, and that was the same year the legal tussle began. Multi-talented actor, comedian, and entertainer Julius the Genius Agu will be on stage come 30th March 2014 for a drama titled The Street. Popular on air personality Yo and singer Sal Sultan will also star in the drama written by Obi Martins. It will be directed by Emmanuel Uduma. Popular Nollywood actor Desmond Elliott added another year to his years on Earth. The handsome dude reportedly clocked 36 on Tuesday, February 4, 2014. Desmond Elliott celebrated his birthday at an exclusive party which took place at a popular hotel in Lagos with some of the House of Representatives members. Stars like Rita Dominic, Alex Ekubo, Majid Michel, Ike Obuna, Uru Eke and few others converged at the Gold Bar of Radisson Blue Hotel located in Victoria Island, Lagos. 
ace filmmaker Zeke Zulu Okafor has been re-elected as the national president of the Association of Movie Producers, AMP. He was re-elected unopposed during an election exercise held in Surulere, Lagos on Friday, 31st January 2014. Congratulations to him. A federal high court sitting in Ibadan, Oyo State has declared Comrade Victor Ashaolu as the duly elected president of the Association of Nigeria Theatre Arts Practitioners, ANTP. Perhaps this judgment would bring an end to the niggling leadership crisis that has been rocking the association for some years now. Beautiful actress Stephanie Okoreke Linus has been on break for a while and her tentative decision not to appear at social events has ignited speculations that she may be pregnant. Whatever the case, we're glad Stephanie is doing well. These days, there's almost always a Nollywood movie at the cinemas. After a while, they then release them on DVDs. If you don't get to catch the cinema release and you perhaps don't know what movies are out there, well, our Nollywood picks of the week will keep you up to speed. It's next on Get Movie School. In the cupboard is a story of the lives of six siblings born into the rich, aristocratic Tesuzo family, a name synonymous with wealth, affluence and power. Everything seems perfect in their lives until their father dies unexpectedly and all of them gather together from different parts of the world to be with their mother, the elegant matriarch Veronica Roni Tesuzo. From here on, what ensues is a series of events that threaten to shake the family to its very foundations. First is the startling revelation that Tega, the second son, is not a D'Souza. All hell is let loose when the secret is revealed. However, this is just the beginning. Viola Williams plays the role of their matriarchal mother, Caroline Roni D'Souza, who holds the answers to most of the questions, but she too must tread very carefully. The overambitious son is Uti Unwachuku. He is sly and dangerous, but he does not know about the lawyer's sizzling affair with his homosexual sister. She too has eyes on the booty, and the lawyer is her ace card a one-way ticket to the kingdom of wealth. Other siblings are not left out of the saga. They too are hatching their own plans, manipulating, creeping their way into the D'Souza treasure chest. The last child, Tara, finds solace in her camera. She is recording everything. Amidst all the chaos, one thing still holds them together. They are family. Got her pregnant, not even leaving her enough money for the portion. When are we gonna make this open? Oh my God, Shasha, you're a lesbian! Ah! Oh, please. So they must fight and find that love that once held them together even after the demise of their wealthy father. The movie features Iniedo, Alex Ekubo, Uti Nwachuku, Lydia Forsen, Abiola Shegun Williams, and it's written by Kendi Olorin Yomi with additional inputs by Lydia Forsen and directed by Desmond Elliott. Your father's will would be read before his death. That is not my father's will. I am a disaster! I will slaughter my sister! Explain to me how my son ends up being my father's son. Who the hell is my father? A man doesn't have to be biological to be a father. Holding Hope tells the story of a work shy but highly extravagant business executive, Olumide, who is employed as the managing director of his mother's company, Dakosta Holdings. His mother fears that he's following his reckless father's footsteps and worries hugely about his future. Over the years, she has been struggling with a terminal illness and knows she would not be around forever to look after her irresponsible son. So she sets in motion a chain of events to safeguard the company when she passes on. Olumide's mother appoints a bright young lady as the company's finance director. The new finance director immediately sees the recklessness of Olumide in spending the company's money. She consequently tightens the company's purse strings. Being the lavish spender he is, Olumide starts to resent the new finance director for questioning his extravagant way of spending his mother's company's money. You finance what? Tick tack, tick tack, clock is ticking. The way we run things around here, I talk. Being the lavish spender he is, Olumide starts to resent the new finance director for questioning his extravagant way of spending his mother's company's money. 
And now unable to take it anymore, Olumide concocts a plan to ensure that he has full control of his mother's finances. This plan, however, goes horribly wrong, and a string of unexpected events follow. Holding Hope features Desmond Elliott, Uche Jumbo, Nadia Buari, Ruki Sanda, Abiola Shegun Williams, and is written by Uche Jumbo, M.M. Isong, and Uduak Uguamanam. It's directed by Desmond Elliott. How could you? The new finance what? He both know that I don't have more time. You can't use your illness to try to get me to do anything because it will not work. Ude Memmi is a story of Ima, the only child of a wealthy and doting father. Ima gets anything and everything she wants from her father until suddenly an accident claims his life and she becomes the heiress to his dynasty. However, there is a hurdle she needs to leap over before claiming her inheritance. She has to get married. In a bid to claim the inheritance as soon as possible, she puts together a plan to get married, not because she's in love, but solely because she wants to fulfill the terms of inheriting her father's vast wealth. Ima gets married to Asukwo, who is meant to aid in her inheritance claim. However, unknown to her, Asukwo has hatched his own sinister plan to take advantage of the situation. Udememi is in Ibibio language with English subtitles and is written by Udwa Uwamanam and directed by Lancelot Udwa Ima. To my brother Julius Udo. I deal with you first. I'm a uniform man. I leave the sum of 200,000 naira and our father's old bicycle in the village. Oh, Aiden. I walk every year for this army subsidy. Kevin Julius, this where you are. I'm here, gang, gang. I'm here, gang. I'm here, gang. I'm here, gang. I'm here, in I'll Take My Chances, IK, a young theatre arts graduate, returns to Nigeria from studying in America hoping to stage a drama. He scouts all over for sponsorship together with his American girlfriend Giselle and they are both hopeful to find it. He, however, has to go for his National Youth Service Orientation Camp in the rustic village of Ikot, Hawaii, in Cross River State. There, he meets his enigmatic and beautiful Idara. Despite their obvious differences, the two are drawn together, but Idara harbors a dark secret. She has been selected to be the next High Priestess of Unek, a deity that is worshipped by her people through dance. Torn between her love for Osa and her duty to obey the call of the deity, Idara must choose and face the greatest battle of all. Featuring Iniedo, Brian Okwara, Ashley Clark, Ini Ekwe, Biola Williams, Jide Kosoko, I'll Take My Chances is produced by M.M. Isong and Iniedo and also directed by Desmond Elliott. There's nothing wrong with my daughter. Not yet, 
first to break up. I'm not going to give you one. This relationship ends when I say it does. So you better take her back to her village, or I'll do that myself. If you have any comments and or questions, we'd love to hear them. You can follow us on Twitter at GetTVOfficial and drop your comments with the hashtag GetMoviesCoop. You can also like us on Facebook, which is facebook.com forward slash GetTVOnline and drop your comments there as well. So that's our show for today. Join us again next week right here on GetTV. My name is Ibukun Williams. See you then.